Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Stand Up Comedian and Traitors on Peacock. Superfan Jolene Lunds are here to talk all about episode 9 of the Traitors on Peacock. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Traitors. We're going to have some fun and get super silly tonight, so smash that like if you haven't already. Let's set a like goal for 500 likes. What we do over here is we take a comedic look at all things the traitors. We roast, we recap, we have a good time over here. I am very opinionated, but say it with me, chat. You're welcome to have your opinions in the chat. I am a traitor. I'm going to murder everyone. I feel so powerful. I got this robe. Hello, traitors. So this episode starts with, will Kate become a traitor? Will she do that? She's downstairs in the dungeon. Haggis, 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 Haggis is down there. And she's waiting. She's like, oh, this is kind of annoying. What is going on? And then here comes Phaedra. Dun, 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 dun. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I became a traitor. I don't know why it sounds like that. But I'm hot, 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 hot. CeeLo for Traitors 3, okay? And then Kate's like, what's going on? And, and Phaedra's like, Hi, it's me, lawyer, mortuary person, and also real housewife of Atlanta, formerly, currently unmarried to medicine, and now traitor on the traitor season two. Phaedra, Phaedra Parks, hi, how you doing? And they have the most fun interaction because this is literally Kate in being locked up. She's like Akon, she's like locked up, I won't let me out. She's a con in it, and Phaedra's like, I have a proposal for you. Join me in murder people or die. Ah. And oh, that didn't work too well. Ah. Or die. Dun, dun, dun. And Kate's like, Yeah, I'll totally kill people. I hate half these people. Like, can we kill all of them tonight? How about now? How about now? No, I'm totally down. And Phaedra's like, mm, I knew you'd be a great partner. You'd be a murderous mistress of mayhem. They're off to a great start already. I mean, was anybody really, sound off in the chat, you guys, was anybody really surprised that Kate took the deal? I mean, it's an interesting twist. If Kate didn't take the deal, she would be dead in the game. <laughs> so other than Peter, I don't know who would do that. Other than... The most faithful of faithfuls, the Paw Patrol Peter Pal Pack. Um, I don't know if there's anyone else who would not take that deal. So Kate and Phaedra have decided we're going to move forward together and murder people. Now, interestingly, Phaedra immediately goes to Kate and goes, so what's the plan? And Kate's like, bitch. Kate was like, I'm sorry, what? I just got here. How am I supposed to know? You don't have a plan. You, Kate, Kate's like, okay, so have you been a traitor this whole time? Was it just you, Dan, in poverty? And Fader's like, yes. Yes, it was. Yes, it was, darling. Yes, it was. It started you and Dan. Oh, God, yeah. It's like eating dry milk with toast with no butter, no jam, no bun. They got his tub with it by by nine. And then Kate is like, we can kill Kevin. Bathtub Kevin is so annoying. He's like the worst. And I was so excited to hear them say Kevin just because, well, I have mixed feelings because I really do love making conversations and scenarios for Bathtub Kevin because we know that Kevin and Sheree are the two people playing this season who really wonder where they are. You know, no offense, all offense over here, but they are often like, you just catch them going, huh. oh, sorry, I was thinking about cookies. Uh, yep, cookies again. Where am I? And so Kate's like, I, I don't really think like he's a traitor. I just think he's like really annoying. And I'm like, same, Kate, same, 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 same. Okay, I don't want any more pleather jacket time with Kevin. So there's that or they're like, or Trishel. And Trishel would be a great murder for Phaedra because she's pushing so hard for Phaedra. Unfortunately, they don't know this, but Trishel has the safety, security, 
blanket panty liner shield from last week when she was digging below the cabin, the creepy cabin. And she was like, I found a shield. And Peter, leader of the Peter and the Paw Patrols, was like, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. Trisha was like, okay, daddy. And he's like, okay, mommy. And she has hidden it, which is, I mean, it's a good strategy. I know I'm hating a little bit because I just am rooting for the traitors in this one. But it's a good strategy not to say anything. But I just think sometimes these faithfuls are a little bit up their own tuckuses, if you know what I mean. They really like the smell of their own toots. So uh, they think about Trisha, but then they think, uh, and they think about Peter, but then they think, Peter's probably got the shield. Peter and the Paw Patrol, he's probably got the shield. And he probably didn't tell anybody because he's like making up a big scenario. Uh, so, I mean, maybe we should just go Trisha or Kevin because they're in the Peter Paw Patrol pals and taking numbers away from him is great. And Phaedra's like, yeah, because Peter's super annoying and I don't like him in this game. And he just like, he's relentless, she said. He won't stop. He's a dog with a bone, if you will. He just keeps coming and coming and coming for me. And I'm like, ugh, Peter, calm down. And Kate's like, yeah, let's kill him. And so then she's so excited and they're like, ooh, ooh. Kate's like, Write it, Phaedra. Write it. And Phaedra's like, oh, okay, darling. Okay, let's see. P. E. Oh, we're not doing Peter. Oh, fuck. Can I get another paper? I know. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a Southern Belle. I just want to kill Peter. Okay, not Peter. Don't write Peter. Don't write Peter. P. E. I did it again. I wrote. Damn it, Peter. Okay. Let me see. Who was okay? Trishel. Oh, it's like whatever. You know. I am sick of seeing her. Phaedra actually says, I'm sick of seeing her um, little hats, <laughs> Trishel's little hats. <laughs> so she's like, I mean, I guess we'll do uh, Kevin. <sighs> oh, shit. I didn't put his whole name. Okay. Bath, tub, Kevin. All right. Let's do it. Let's pull it off. Put it in there. Okay. Double stamp it. Bye, Kevin. And they're like, <laughs> And now a reenactment of bathtub Kevin receiving his murder letter from the traitors. And he comes in. He's like, oh, what's this? Is this an invitation to the, to the bath? Is this some Epsom salts? Because I was telling the producers that I don't have enough soaky stuff for my tub. What does this say? Okay. Bye. I'm sorry. I'm going to need a translator. I don't. I, I don't read post it. It's you, Kevin. It's me. What? You have to go, Kevin. Go where? You have to. You have to leave the game. What game? The one we're in, Kevin. We're playing a game. Like Monopoly? No, 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 Kevin. Traders is a game. I thought it was a TV show. You, well, it is, but it's also a game. You know, you, you have to suss out the traders. You're faithful. The traders have murdered. Murdered? That's illegal. No, no, not for, you're not really dead. I'm dead? No, Kevin, you're, Kevin, you're not dead. Just in this game. <sighs> Are you God? Ke Kevin, please, Kevin, please. No, I'm, I'm just confused because I, I thought we were just filming something. I thought, I, didn't, I thought this was just a really long commercial. I, I, I thought we were filming like a Kellogg's breakfast thing because we're always at breakfast and then in the woods, like, oh, we eat our breakfast and then we can get outside and get healthy. They're like, Kevin, you have to leave now. But can I take a bath on the way out? They're like, no, Kevin, you can't take a bath. You're done. <sighs> so do I go? Should I go? Not now. Should I, how about, how about, do, should I, should I leave under the chair? Ke Kevin, stand. What do you, what stand? Kevin, your legs have to go, you know, you, you lift, no, 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 you're not raising the roof. You're lifting your legs. No, but you don't need to do your hands like that. You don't have to go really slow. I'm just going to stay here for a while and think about it because I'm I'm kind of confused. And I, I just really like the bathtub here at the castle, even though we're not staying in the castle. The hotel you put us in is a really nice tub. They're like, well, It's fine, Kevin. Can you push him to his chair so they pushed Kevin's chair out the door. This is how Kevin left. They had to push him out. So, but we don't know yet because we have to go to breakfast. So Kate's like, 
I'm just so nervous. Her and Sandra Sanders like, I've never been first before at breakfast. This is amazing. Oh my God. I've been hungry all night. I've been thinking about like, oh shit. I told them no granolas. I can't eat with my braces. God. Ah. And Kate is just like, I, I'm a horrible liar. I'm really nervous. I'm scared. I'm worried. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. And Sandra's like, oh, oh, how come every breakfast that you serve bubble gum and granola? I, I can't have that. I can't have it. Gosh. What do you think happened? Okay, I'm just gonna drink this milk and and Kate's like, I don't, I don't know, but I think that Peter is sus. And Sandra's like, yeah, he's totally sus. CT comes in, CT's like, what's up, hey guys? What's going on? I'm kind of hooking up with Pedra. If you know what I mean, hey, what's go? Who did you guys bring deodorant? I didn't. Ladies still do me. And then they start talking about who's left and what's going on. And they all start talking about how Peter. Is looking sus because Peter won't stop doing a lot. You know, he's just do. He's like, excuse me, don't come in here. Me and my friend, the Peter Pals, we're in here. And CT's like, come on, man, you gotta let me in. You gotta let me in. And Kate, yes, Astro Boy, Kate is very nervous. Her face is like, and Kate's normally pretty chill. Okay, and so uh, <laughs> CT's like, yeah, I mean, Peter's kind of sus and. Kate's like, yeah, he's sus and he's annoying. You know, I bet it's him. I bet he's a traitor. He's working with the traitor. So he's like, ah, oh, they're making some good uh, theories here about Peter. You know, he lied to me. He tried to make a deal with poverty. Uh, excuse me. Sometimes I just let one fly during my interviews, but I'm CT. Women still like me. And then as they're talking about Peter and being sus of Peter, Peter's the next one to come in. And Peter's like, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Peter and the Paw Patrol. I am the most faithful of the faithfuls, in addition to John, uh, UK John, or John and little John and the UK boys, and also in addition to um, Trisha, technically. She's a woman. And look at <laughs> Kate's like, hi, oh great, so on. Sarah's like, oh, it's so great. Can you guys ask if they can make pancakes or something? Everything gets stuck in my voices. Uh, gosh, okay. Peter can't, he's grateful. He's grateful to be alive. He can't believe it. He's like, oh my God, I'm so grateful. This is, um, you know, but uh, I have a feeling they're going to go after one of the Paw Patrols. They're going to go after one of the Paw Patrols. And right away, MJ clocks Kate. Kate's like, that's Kate's face. <laughs> MJ's like, what's going on? He like lost all the light. In your face. He's like, what are you talking about, bitch? Shut up, bitch. Kate is like, I want her to be quiet. I want her to shut up. What are you doing? I'm just like, are you okay? What's what's going on? Do you have the flu? You just like, you look dead. And she's like, no, I'm totally, I'm fine. And I'm happy. And I'm happy. And I'm fine. And I'm finally happy. <laughs> so mind your business, bitch. <laughs> Kate is like, oh, God, I knew I was going to be bad at this. So as much as Kate is fun, it turns out um, our girl Kate, she's not a she's not a deceptive person. She's a blunt person. She's a blunt, funny person, not deceptive. Like Kate, if you don't, if she don't like you, you're going to know that she doesn't like you. She's going to tell you how it is. And MJ's over there like, hey, yeah, you're looking really weird. You look very strange. Kate's like, well, you you look strange. You you have a dumb face and you keep wearing those jean cargo pants. So why not? Why don't you mind your own business with your jean pants? <laughs> so Kate looks so worried. And MJ is like, MJ is very astute in this game. She is very observant. Um, she's like, mm, something's going on. Something's weird here. You're not acting like you should be acting. So basically, um, you know, here comes a um, uh, a Phaedra and she's like, ooh, ooh, honey. Oh, I got them buttermilk pancakes. Ooh, I got salmon for breakfast. And John's like, I barely want to hug you, Phaedra, because I just know that you're a traitor. And um, Phaedra's like, well, I barely want to hug Peter because I know he's Peter and the Paw Patrols. So they're just waiting, waiting. And they're remembering that, well, if they picked Trishel, Trishel has the damn uh, panty liner shield. So she is protected from leaks, stains, and from being uh, murdered last night. And so the door opens up, and they're like, who's it going to be? Which one of Peter's friends is it going to be? And Sheree's like, where am I? And we find out that it is um, it's Trishel, you guys. 
to show box and she was like wow don't be so excited to see me guys i've got a headband i'm taking over for poverty and fate was like mm, yeah that's great peter and the paw patrol he's like oh i mean trishel's great but she's like a woman uh i really me and kevin we were like i can't bro out with her and they realized that bathtub kevin is gone He's gone, you guys. So then we cut to the scene I acted out with um, them, you know, going, yeah, let's get rid of Kevin. He's ugh, he's just stinks. He's just let's get let's kill him. And then Kevin comes in and he has a hard time reading the letter. Takes him a while. Allegedly, remember everything I say is true except for the parts that are false. Everything is alleged for entertainment purposes only. And he's like, oh, what does this say? What does this mean? You know, he was very, very confused. Our friend Kevin. And Kevin's like, so, okay, I'm just going to stay here. And then finally, they wheeled him out. Mm -hmm. to, and he's like, oh, can I, can I keep this? Can I keep the letter? Okay. Uh, when, I, when I was in the house, I found this lighter. Can I, can I keep this lighter? Oh, you guys are cool. You guys are awesome. Um, when I was searching under the couches just for fun, I found one AirPod. Can I keep, can I keep that? Thanks, guys. That was, like, super nice of you. Um, when I was – after breakfast, I found half a bag of trail mix. Can I keep Can I keep this? Oh, rad, because they have M's in there, and M's are my favorite. Kevin loves M's. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I found a used chapstick. Is this any oh, – can I keep that? Okay. 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 This is pretty fun when you get murdered. You know, you're just going to take a bunch of stuff. Oh, you know what? I found this. It's really, it lights up. I don't know where the cord is, but I can definitely uh, get a cord off Amazon. Can I keep this? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Also, I went in someone's drawer. I'm not sure where I was. And I found these old timey postcards. I figured I could put them on eBay. Can I keep these? Uh -huh. Okay, cool. Cool. Oh, also, this place is pretty creepy. I found um, a old... I don't know what, what this is, but it's got writing on it, and it's like paper, but it's not. It's like um, it kind of smells. I don't know. I think it's a it's a newspaper, Kevin. Oh, okay. All right. Well, can I can I keep this just for in case I ever run out of toilet paper if we get another pan of cooking? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Mm, I really like this Kleenex box I found because it it has um. It's grape. I love grape. I'm a big grape guy. In the tub, I like it. Can I, can I keep this? Oh, it's fucking awesome, bro. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. I'm so sorry. And then I'll go. And then I'll go. I found this Aveeno lotion. There's not much in it, but I've been kind of just like digging my finger in there, you know, and doing this, you know, really hard until I get some stuff out. And sometimes like I got a little bit and I feel like Aveeno is good. I have eczema. Can I keep that? Okay. All right, cool. Oh, oh, one of the camera guys left this in my room. Could I keep that? Okay. All right. I got to go. So Kevin gets to keep so much stuff. He's just like collecting things from the traders, which is so exciting for Kevin. I am so happy for him. Peter said, Trish Shashel's like, yeah, I had a, I had a shield. I had a, yeah, I had a panty liner. It's no big deal. Just a little shield. And Kate's like, oh my God, we could have gotten rid of someone with a shield on my first night as a trader. I don't want to do this anymore. This is very hard work. And Trisha was like, yeah, NBD, little John and the UK boys. I mean, Peter Paw Patrol's friends, they're very upset, you guys. They're losing numbers. You know, they were, they did have that numbers advantage. And now they're just getting picked off one by one by one. And they're so sad. And and Fader's just like, are you gonna eat that? Are you gonna? I know, I know. Kevin used to take the half bags of trail mix, but if no one else wants it, okay, honey, I'll have some. Here comes Alan, looking. I gotta say, one of the best looks Alan has had. Plaid on plaid on plaid with the blue glasses and the hair. Everything is working for our friend Alan Cumming. He is just looking so good, and he's like, Peter, go give me that picture of your boyfriend, Kevin. Bathtub, Kevin. And Peter's like, okay, here, here you go. Here's a picture, and he's like, ugh. Kevin, I hardly knew you because you really couldn't string together a sentence very well. You never knew where you were, but we will miss you. No, we won't. And he throws it away. <laughs> then he says, go eat, get ready, because you guys have to meet me. And don't be tardy for the party, or I will have Kim Zosiak Bierman singing to you, okay? And she has already hit us up so many times to be on season three because she needs money very badly because she's, she's getting her house taken away. 
Um, Kate and Peter have a little talk and they talk like, is this better than The Bachelor? And Peter's like, oh, this is harder than The Bachelor. You would think having all these ladies throwing their uterus at you would be great. But guess what? It's hard, okay? I had to have sex in a windmill. Do you know how, like, you, you, you just have to, you have to be so flex. I don't even do yoga, you know? And I had to get my leg up. It was just, there just wasn't a lot of room, okay? Here I have a lot of room if I want to hook up. Now, Trishel asks CT and, and, and Phaedra, can we talk? You know, can I hang out with you guys? And they're just like, Sure, Trishel. Yeah, sure. You could be the you can be the fifth wheel. Come on over. And they're trying to convince Trishel that her best Paw Patrol friend, Peter, leader of the Peter Pals, is a traitor. And she's like, mm, well, that's cute. Trishel is full on. She's like, no, I know it's you, Phaedra, but I'm just gonna say okay. CT. I, do you really believe this? And CT's like, yeah, I think so. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm not, not really sure. Um, Phaedra is like, listen, if I can put salt in Peter's game, I will. If we can turn Trishel, I will. I don't know if it'll work, but he's annoying. So let's just get rid of him. Come on. Come on, Trishel. You can do this. And Trishel's like, well, yeah. And CT's like, he's just, you know, he's politicking and dicking and booby traps. It's just too much, okay? Don't stress me out with all these politics. So I loved how CT all episode was like, and I don't want the politics. Don't you even try to politic that with me, buddy, okay? Because you're doing, boob you're setting booby traps, you're doing politics. Hey, stop, please stop, okay? I don't have time for this, okay? I didn't bring my deodorant. We're here for a week. If we're here longer, I'm really going to start stanking, okay? I brought my Irish Spring. I'm a guy's guy. Come on, Trishel. Come on. And Trishel's like, yeah, maybe. Okay, sure. Kind of. All right. Can I leave? And Peter is just pacing. He's just pacing in a in a hooded, you know, um, coat in his skinny jeans and his little boots. And he's like, I think I might go tonight. I think I might. I mean, I'm a little nervous. Trishel leaves and she's like, I don't believe these people one minute. So she calls Lil UK John and the UK boys. And she tells him, she's like, we're screwed. And he's like, we are. She's like, yeah, John, this is a numbers game. We don't have the numbers. They have a whole network of people that are here from Bravo. And Phaedra's just like, I love life. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And she's walking around. And then Phaedra immediately sees that Trishel is talking to little John and the UK boys, which I'm sure, you know, Phaedra's like, oh, I knew I couldn't trust her. Uh, the minute she leaves, she's off plotting, you know, plotting, plotting, plotting. So John seems like, oh, wow, we are so we're screwed. And Trisha was like, yeah, we're screwed. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, how many votes do we need? Hmm. They're going to get rid of us, huh? Oh, at the banishment table. Ooh, I don't know. Okay, so we have me and you and Peter and anyone else. No, okay. So we have to, we got five. We've got to turn two. They decide they're going to try to turn CT and Sandra. And I'm like, oh, good luck with Sandra. Because <laughs> Sandra with the braces and the lisp, our queen stays queen. Sandra's like, mm, I don't think so. I don't even care if it's not Peter. He's annoying. Okay, so you got to go. You got to go, buddy. Because I don't want to split the money with you. It's I don't, okay? I don't. I really don't. I got to put binders on my braces during the day. They fly off. I hope they hit you. I don't know. So they're trying to figure out, you know, what they're going to do. Meanwhile, Sandra and them are also talking strategy. What do they think? And Sheree's like, what, do you guys think this is a season of the Royal Housewives? And they're like, no, Sheree, we don't. Okay. I just wanted to throw it out there that I, it could be like the Real Housewives traitors, you know? Because I've been given a lot of confessionals and I've been given a lot of bitches dirty luck. So I feel like it, they're like, no, Sheree, it's, it's a totally different show. And Sheree's like, okay, well, then I guess we could just get rid of Peter. He's doing a lot, right? Yes, Trish. Yes, yes, Phaedra. He is doing, he's doing the most. He's doing a lot. I, I mean, Peter, he must have had like his Apple watch on because he was trying to get all his steps in. I think he got all of his steps in. 
um, just walking around the house after breakfast. So here comes Peter, and he's like, hey, guys, what's up? Just, you know, thinking about windmills and stuff. And John says, well, Peter, Trishel says we're doomed. And Peter looks genuinely surprised, like, we're doomed? We're do Since when? It's like, Peter, yes, numbers, hello. And he's like, what? They're not they're not going to vote for Phaedra. No, sir. We we got to we they have there's a whole network, the whole Bravo Alliance. Peter's like, "Oh, okay." Trishel's like, "Hello, hi. Could you guys listen to me? It's going to be one of us." Peter goes, "Ooh, god. I guess that is I was thinking that too, Trishel, when most of our people have been voted out. We have Bergie, we got Kevin. Okay. Yeah, I guess that does make sense. So this is where they decide we need two more. What other should, you know, who we should try to persuade? Sandra. <laughs> Funny. CT. Ah, at first I was like, don't you be able to sway CT? But then I'm thinking they might be able to. And from what we see in this episode, they were able to. But I think a lot of it came down to what CT saw at the competition. Meanwhile, CT is just thinking about that he didn't bring his toothbrush. He's like, oh, and my dealer, and I didn't bring a toothbrush. Come on, guys. I'm just going to sit here and uh, use my tongue to try to get stuff out. Because I'm a guy. I'm a guy's guy. So John's like, oh, we're doomed. I'm going to have to start thinking of some speeches and such. There's so much we're going to have to do because we're doomed. According to Trishel, we are doomed. So then... Uh, Peter's like, listen, I'll go work CT. I'm Peter. I'm Peter in the Paw Patrol. Okay, I got this. So he's like, what's up, CT? And CT's like, yeah, I'm probably voting you, buddy. Peter's like, what, me? Me? Yeah, it's probably going to be you. Yeah. He says, yeah, I mean, I don't like the politics. I don't like the booby traps. I don't like it. No. It's not uh, it's, it's, it's not cool. You know, you're just like moving and shaking and doing. It's like too much. I can't keep up with all of it, okay? They only gave me so much edibles. I don't want to do this anymore. Peter is g genuinely like, I am. I promise you you'll be making the biggest mistake. I am a faithful, faithful. It wouldn't make any sense for me to vote out all the people that have been, or to murder the people that have been murdered. I'm such a faithful CT. CT's like, yeah, yeah, but you also, you also kind of annoying. You also do too much stuff. So uh, I don't know. Uh, right now I'm kind of leaning towards you. I'm just telling you. Yeah, I'm just having a cup of coffee. And Peter's like, what are you talking about? If we don't get a traitor out right now, tonight, they're going to win. And CT's like, yeah, I'm not really worried about it. You're just looking kind of sus. Yeah. So he's like, Peter's like, ah, 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 ah. he says he cannot believe. He's like, <laughs> what's happening? And CT's like, yeah, you know, I think uh, I think it's it's uh, it's probably you. Yeah, not too worried about it. But, uh, you know, I'll keep an open mind. I keep an open mind. We'll see what's up. I don't know. Do you have an extra toothbrush? And he's like, no, CT, I don't have an extra toothbrush. You should have brought a toothbrush. And CT's like, yeah, I was born with, uh, you know, naturally uh, nice breath. I don't normally need a toothbrush. I'll be honest with you. I don't want to be one of them brag guys, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't really use it. Okay, great. Fantastic. Thank you, Happiness, so much for the super sticker. Appreciate you. And Miss AB, I'm so sorry I didn't see your super chat. These cliffhangers, my goodness, I know the episode ends on a cliffhanger. So thank you, Miss AB, Realification and Happiness King, for the super chats and super stickers. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, CT was thinking about where he left his khakis. <laughs> Car keys. <laughs> well, I leave my khakis. My khakis. My khakis. Okay. So then we are off for today's competition, which takes them into the hills and mountains and woods of Scotland. And this is where CT's like, hey, Kate, yeah, you gonna when's the last time you've been in a church? You're gonna start on fire? And Kate's like, I am not a whore, but I am a little devilish, so I will not sit in the front row. And then Alan tells them, you guys, here's today's mission. You're going to start with $25,000. There are these glass windows on the wall of the church, these glass painted small windows with your names on them. Everyone will be using a little arrow thingy. Clearly, I really take this um, seriously, knowing what it's called, uh, <laughs> to smash every glass the last person's glass who's standing will get the panty liner shield of ultimate safety with wings so you want this you guys however every time you go for someone to break their glass with our little buffy the vampire slayer 
wooden stake ricochet thingy and you miss, $250 will be taken from the total of $25,000. Whatever's left at the end after you finish and one person's glass window is standing, you will get to keep that. And they're like, oh, okay, this looks kind of fun, but also, wow, okay, 250 bucks. All right, cool, cool, cool. So they start on this little app archery stand. Thank you. They start each see the little archery stand with their wooden stake. And Phaedra, everyone starts going for John. I'm going to go for UK John. I'm going to go for little John and the UK boys. And John's like, why me? Why? And they're like, mm, sorry, John. I'm going to go for you, John. So they're all trying to knock out little John and the UK boys and all of the remaining Peter's Paw Patrol pals. And John's like, oh, the whole time he's all nervous. Like, oh. But they keep missing. So every time they miss, they lose $250. And so their total is dwindling, dwindling, dwindling as they keep going for John. So finally, CT changes it up. Um, well, he does Kate. And he goes, oh, I'm going to go alphabetically. i uh, going to do Kate. And Kate's like, That's, oh, my God, I need a, a shield. And then Kate remembers, oh, yeah, I am a traitor. I don't need a shield. Again, they keep missing. And then Kate says, well, I'm actually going to go for alphabetical order for real for real like how the alphabet works a to z and that would be ct okay so i'm gonna go for ct still she still she misses john's on pins and needles he is he's worried because again i'm sandra's like oh, i'm gonna go for john's because you know i just sorry john but it's not really that into you and you're part of the people pop patrol peters and you know i can't believe we're the same age you look like so much older than me so i'm gonna go for you but they keep missing, missing. Sheree tries, and you we would think Sheree is going to get it because she does CrossFit, okay? So John's starting to get offended because they're all missing. John's like, I'm going to go for MJ. Oh, John got mad when he missed the MJ thing, the poor little guy. He was like, he got very, he got very violent. He was, it's church, John. Did you see you guys look at him? Oh, it punched the pew. Oh, not punch. Oh, no, John. Oh, no, John. Don't punch the pew. Oh, John. Now why Jesus is watching. Oh, God. So he got, and he had to pull himself back and go, no. And he says, I'm just disappointed in myself. Hey, I, come on, Berkshires, or whatever his last name is. Get it together. Come on. And Alan's like, you guys are real shit at this. You're all very bad. You're horrible. Um, Trishel's like, all right, well, I'm going to go for Sheree because it's kind of in an easy position. Oops, I missed. <laughs> so they are really, really, really sucking. So finally, um, Phaedra says, actually, I'm, I'm going to keep going for Sheree because Sheree is in an, it's easier to move the apparatus, the archery side to side than it is up or down. So I'm going to just stay on that first row and try to get Sheree. And Sheree's like, at first, you know, Sheree was confused. And then it started to make a little more sense because even though Phaedra missed, ultimately MJ, I believe, comes up and she gets, you know, and then there's, you know, Sandra. We love Sandra. And I was like, hey, guys, uh. Yeah, you got. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do Sarai. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's not like we're friends or something. And uh, Queen says Queen, and she shoots and she misses. And then here comes MJ, and she's like, "Well, I'm not wearing my lucky cargo jeans, but she is uh, <laughs> going for Sheree. And ah, they're so excited. They finally got one. So they've lost now thousands off their total, going for all of these people in more of like a strategic way of who they didn't want to get the panty shield. And now that they are like, Oh, it's easier to move side to side than up and down. They start knocking some out. And I think even does your show get one here. No little John. Oh no. They start CT. Oh, so then they they get a lot accomplished. And left, I think, is like the top row, CT, John. 
And then the bottom row, I think there's Sandra and Trishel. And they're trying a lot for CT. And Phaedra goes, oh, we're just, we're losing so much money going for CT. We're on a roll, really hitting some nameplates, breaking glass. So Sandra looks over at Phaedra. She's like, you used to go for Trishel. Let's take Trishel out. Let's take Trishel out. And uh, Phaedra's like, I'm going to, we're just losing a lot of money. So I'm going to go for Trishel. Thank you so much. This is fun, isn't it, Trishel? And Trishel's like, ah, ah, what? No, not me. That's not fair. What are you doing? Oh, my God. I am so mad right now. It's clear that you don't want me to get the shield. You know that I'm not faithful. You're clearly a traitor. You're sus AF. How dare you go for me? And CT starts shaking his head. And at first, I didn't really, I'll be honest. I was like, who cares? Who cares if they decided to go down? They had to go to someone. But then later in the episode, they explained, you know, CT and Trishel explained that we did say it was easier going side to side. So why didn't you just go to the next one over on the top row? If you couldn't get CT, there was another one next to him. Why reposition all the way down? That looks sus. And I thought, mm, that makes a little more sense. Because at first I'm like, who cares? Who cares? So Phaedra is going for it, going for it, going for it. And we, of course, have to go to commercial. Everyone's so nervous. Trishel's like, don't take me out. That is like the rudest thing you guys have ever done. This is so sus. And I'll never forgive any of you ever again. Trishel was very, <laughs> very upset. And even Kate said, oh, what is Phaedra doing? Because she's not only hurting her, but she's making it harder for me. Ultimately, uh, this strategy works. It co goes between John and CT. Little John and CT. And CT uh, is like, ah, I think I want the shield. You know, I, I don't know. John, do you have an extra deodorant, some toothpaste I can borrow? And he's like... No, CT, I need all of my deodorant and such. And he's like, okay, well, I'm just going to get the shield. So CT gets the panty shield. They're like, yeah, I, I think it might be a little weird that Sandra and uh, Phaedra, you know, they got together. And I, I'm going to have to think about this because I really like, I really like Phaedra. We've been, you know, hanging out. And I really think she's a cool guest. I, I mean, I show she's my friend. I don't, I don't know. So CT is wondering as they go back to the castle to have dinner, to talk uh, before the the big round table. Uh, and CT's like, I don't know, you know, it's uh, I got to see what's going on. You know, bada bing, bada boom, I'll take a shield. Why not? You know, I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Trishel is steady, Mo, yes, always begging for a shield. She's like, you guys, I'm, I'm in the most, I'm in dire straits. I'm not going to make it out. So, um... They go and they have dinner and Trishel's like, oh my God, I hate that I have a, an allergy that I'm like lactose allegedly. Like I would love, what is this? And Phaedra's like, oh, what is dirty mac and cheese? Mm, I'm going to have to try that. Dirty, mm, dirty mac and cheese. Mm, yummy, yummy in my tummy. So everyone's eating and Trishel is just coveting everyone's mac and cheese because she's like, oh. I wish I could have mac and cheese. I can't have mac and cheese. Nobody ever lets me have mac and cheese. My insides won't process the mac or the cheese, especially the cheese. I could just have the mac, I guess. So we got to hear about this. And then Peter's like, guys, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Pop, Peter's Paw Patrol, uh, assemble. Okay, get over here. Okay, okay, John. Okay, you're going to have to give like a kick-ass speech tonight. You're going to have to, okay? I'm going to wear my skinny jeans. I'm going to be looking real fine, but you have to, you have to convince these people tonight, okay? It's on you. Trishel, I'm going to need you to convince the ladies. You get to break up that Bravo group, talk to Sandra, Sandra, you know, offer to like help her with her braces or something. Maybe she's going to tightening. I don't know. I never needed braces. I was always naturally handsome. I am going to distract Phaedra so she won't be there when you, Trishel, are trying to flip people, trying to flip. She's like, yes, sir, I'll do it. So um, John's like, I will go write my dissertation. I will. Yes, because I am a parliament man and I am very, very important. Okay. I just wrote two circles, which I don't want to write down what I'm going to say, but this is an Australian accent. Yes, it is. And also 
code for what I'm going to say. Basically, Mistress of Mayhem and Phaedra, you will be voted out, banished to the depths of hell forever. Okay? I got it. Okay. So Peter's like, hey, um, Phaedra, you want to talk? Phaedra's like, okay, let me grab my, oh, let me, let me just grab all my, oh, my God. Oh, my, have you tried this dirty mac and cheese? Oh, my God, I got oh, oh, no vitamin D deficiency. I'm going to bring an extra cup in case you don't finish all yours. And then Kevin left this behind. I don't know. I'm just going to take it, see if it's edible. So they go off in the library, and Kate and MJ, they're like, oh, let's try to listen. And as they're trying to spy on Phaedra, and Peter's conversation, here comes Trishel and poor Trishel. But now she's, you know, been pegged one of the goody two-shoe kids, one of Peter's pals, the most faithful of faithful. And she's like, hi, guys, what are you doing? And they're like, nothing. Are you going to rat on us? No, I just, you know, Kate's ear is like leaning into the library. She's like, just stretching, nothing. And Trishel's like, let's talk. Okay, here's the deal, you guys. I think it's Phaedra. I do. And I know none of you are going to vote against Phaedra because you're all like her friends. You guys are like, you're not going to vote against Bravo people because you're all Bravo people. And I'm just like, not me, bitch. I might. And Kate's like, oh my God. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. MJ. MJ's like, yeah, I, sorry. If it's like between me and the money, I'm not going to just so I can be like girlfriends with everybody. This is a game. Right. And Kate's like, oh, Oh, this trader stuff is harder than I thought. And and Sandra's just like, well, you know, it's, uh, you will see, you know, I just, I just want to enjoy my dinner. It's Trishel's. I just want to enjoy my dinner. Cause they've already, Sandra's already been propositioned about this. They already were talking to Sandra, John, Peter, Trishel. And Sandra's like, can I just go get my dinner? Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm very hungry. Listen, John, I'm going to listen to what you say. I will, I'll, if you give me something, you know, uh, something where you're, you know, making some sense, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I got to go. I got to get some food. Okay. I don't, I don't really care about this. I got to go. I got to go. So uh, Sandra had left there and now, you know, they're getting accosted again um, by Trishel. And Sheree's like, oh, Phaedra, huh? I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. I'm not really paying attention, but I, I just, I don't think so. And they're like, Sh and Trishel's like, Sheree, yes. It's probably Phaedra. Mm, I don't, I've known her for 20 years. I don't know. Oh, God, this is so hard. Usually I would ask Kevin, but he's not here. So they're having a little conversation. Peter and Phaedra, you know, Peter's like, okay, Phaedra, I don't want to think you are a traitor. I just think you are a traitor. I don't want you to be the traitor, but I just think you are the traitor. <laughs> and Fader's like, oh, well, I'm not. I don't know what your problem is, but oh, have you tried this dirty mac and cheese? It is so good. Mmm. 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 So good. So ultimately, they have these little conversations. We know that CT, CT then is like, Trishel, get in here. Get in here. Smell my pit to the stink. Okay, good. It does, okay, whatever, I'm going to keep my pits down. Either way, me and Phaedra are hanging out, allegedly, okay? So, uh, Trisha, I got to run something by you. And Trisha's like, oh, my God, I would love for you to run something by me. What is going on? Tell me everything. Yes? Oh. And he's like, uh, you know, when we were at the competition, you know, it was, uh, it's, yeah, it was a little sus. It was a little sus, uh, you know, uh, it was, uh, you know, Phaedra and Sandra, they, uh, they were, I think they didn't want you to get the shield. I think they want you dead. And Trisha was like, yes, that is so true. CT that is, oh my God. Are we, are we going to vote them? Are we going to vote them? He's like, I don't, yeah, I'm going to, I think we might have to, you know, cause I think that that's some traitor behavior. That's some trade. Can you smell this pit too? In this one? Are they both good? Okay. Uh, I think it's some traitor behavior. It's a little, it's a little traitor behavior. All right. Be blessed. Uh, first time watching Traders. Yes. And here for this review. Welcome, welcome. How many episodes do we think is left for this season? There's probably 10, 11 now because last season was 10. We're already on nine. They definitely have more than one, a couple. Um, 12 episodes. Thank you, Amy. And the last one is a reunion show. So we have two more regular episodes and then a reunion. Oh my gosh. Two? Because it's really, it's dwindling down. I was very surprised watching. Um, 
tonight, like, oh, wow, we really don't have a lot of people. So uh, Trishel's, so she's like, don't worry, don't worry, CT, I won't tell anybody, I won't tell any of the Paw Patrol pals that you are going to vote with us tonight at the round table. We're going to banish Phaedra. Yay. She's so uh, a traitor. She's like, I know she's a traitor. She's such a traitor. So he's like, oh, you know, I just I kind of feel bad, but it's like, you know, and eh, you know, we can't go for Sandra. No, you cannot go for Sandra. Don't vote for Sandra because that's like starting all over. And we have enough people now where I think we can make it work. So don't switch it to Sandra. Even if you think it's Sandra. Okay. Yeah, okay, let's uh, let's just you know keep it on the download. I will keep it. Uh, look at this secret. I threw the key. Wait, hold on. Okay, wait. Okay, I'm I'm holding the key. I promise you, CT, I won't say anything. Okay. Oh, hold on. And I really appreciate you trusting me because I feel like our friendship has grown so much and we've become a lot closer and I'm really excited. And also we're going to be here another week, probably, unless I get murdered because um, I didn't get the shield because, like you said, they went after me. And then I have more time to be in my cute outfits. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then we head to Sorry. This is the banishment. Okay. The uh, round table for the banishment. And little John and the UK boys is on his little John in the UK boys. He is giving the longest speech. <laughs> it's always very good, Winston Churchill, but it is very, very long, okay? So he's like, I would like to start. Phaedra, it is me, John, former member of parliament and as much as I think the turmoil of your heart and love and soul in this game is a beautiful thing, I think you are the traitor. The way you move and roll and displace information all over the place in my face with the seas part by my knees for the trees and the bees. And I just know that you will go down in history, but it won't be with us for we must win, my love, and die if we do not try to take you out tonight for you are a traitor traitor you are the traitress of traitors the mistress of mistress of mayhem of badness and sheree is your friend and she's always going to go with you and i need you to know that from the bottom of my pitless heart as it bleeds on the floor and the blood is spreading and i bathe in your blood and i admire your beauty and i breathe in the last breath as you walk out the door and i fight the rest of this game for the sole purpose purpose of humanity and love and poetry and justice and men and women and anywhere in between and I believe in pronouns and we are here today in the United States of America with a united kingdom amongst us of kings and queens and princes and princesses. And here we sit in a buttoned up shirt in what appears to be from the male section of Zara. And I will tell you, I will never regret the words I say today because they are from my heart, from my gut, from my groin. I speak the truth of my love to you, Phaedra, Phaedra Parks. Phaedra larks. It is a larking larp of a situation that I have to pretend to be a man who wants you to go and I want you to stay so desperately and deadly. I would love to see your face in the morning and smell your sweet breath as you just finished your oatmeal and you give me a kiss on my cheek as I walk in from safety and we exist together as one, you and me and she and he, but thus I cannot for I must play this game and I must play it well for there are men and women and family and children and a labradoodle at home that is looking to me to be the sole proprietor and give my all so that I may go home to my family and look them into the eye and say, I did not give in to the traitors and I will not bow down to any kind of power that is going against the good power. Although you are a bad power in this game, you are not a bad person, my dear Phaedra, and you know that about yourself. So hold your head up high, queen, but know that you will be banished tonight and you will burn in the depths of traitor hell for the rest of your life. And that should be the sentence that is just, that is right for someone as treacherous as you. Thank you. And I'm like, oh my God. That was everybody's face as he's giving this 
Oscar winning speech is like, okay, uh, wrap it up. He got the light. He, people are doing this. People did this. It was, Phaedra's like, oh, this is so crazy. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you. Um, little John and the UK boys, he just kept going and going and going and going. And Sheree fell asleep. And uh, Sandra got her braces off in this time. That's how long he was talking for, okay? Kate had another baby. Sandra got her braces off. Sheree fell into a coma. CT found deodorant. You know, um, Trishel found a cute headband. It was, Kevin came back. He was under the table the whole time. He didn't know where to go. He didn't know where the door was. He didn't know where the exit was. <laughs> Thank you, Lizzie. Thank you, guys. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> oh, his speech is, yes. I was trying to why. Look at <laughs> Sheree is so annoyed. She's like, he's like, literally, he's still talking. This whole time I've been talking, he's still talking. All right. Yes, Astro Boy. His speech is why we have to wait to see MJ's vote next week. Because they're like, we can't fit this all in one episode. This is crazy. And ugh, Phaedra's like, okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Way to go, John. Wow. Okay. He's rubbing the table again. He's doing the thing. He's got the politician fingers going. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Got it. We know, John, no one asked you if you had sexual relations with that woman. Even... Trishel was like, I might just volunteer to go. He's still talking. He's still talking. He's still talking. He's still talking. <laughs> then he, then he's like, job well done. Took a sip of water. He's like, you're welcome. You're welcome, guys. And Phaedra's like, well, I'm so glad you're not God. <laughs> Phaedra was like, yeah. And this is not Parliament, John. So nice try. Love that you did that. That was so cute how you're like, I'm a trader and you're not and you're with Peter who's making deals with traders. Isn't it funny that Dan and Poverty, the two traders that you think I am, we're making deals and we're friends with Peter and Peter's keeping on the DL and he had close friendships with, with both of them. And at last week he was like, oh, Poverty isn't a, um, a trader, even though we knew she was a trader. So interesting that you'd question me and want to you know, put me up as a traitor and banish me, but you don't ask the same of Peter, even though he's in collusion, you're in collusion with him. He's in collusion with you. Everyone's in collusion. We're all colluding. You're colluding. I'm colluding. Everyone's colluding. So this ain't the bachelor. Okay. This is not the bachelor. And I don't have to kiss your ass for a rose. So I can tell Peter what's up. Okay. So in the case of me, I am a faithful, I'm a proud faithful and you come in here, just blah, blah, blah. And, and I fell asleep. All right. And I wish they would have given us a pillow and a blanket, you know, and you just want to protect your little boyfriend over here, your little bro man, your little boy man so over here. Peter, he's on The Bachelor, okay? You want him to give you a rose? Because I'm not worried about him giving me a rose because this ain't The Bachelor, this ain't Phaedra, and this ain't The Bachelor. And so Phaedra's just like, I know you want your little bromance, your little romance. It's so cute, cute, cute. But the collusion, you're colluding. You're such a traitor hunter. You're such a big man, big traitor hunter. But yet, your friend's probably a traitor, huh? He's hanging out with all the traitors. How come you got a boyfriend that's hanging out with the traitors? Don't you think it's a little close? Okay. Why don't you go after that? So, <laughs> Phaedra is just like, she's, Phaedra is killing it because she's Phaedra. And, um, She's just like, and you know, another thing, your little boyfriend, your little traitorous boyfriend, your boyfriend is friends with all the traitors who you're not even asking if he's a traitor, even though he's making deals with traitors and lying to all of us, even you guys and the Peter and Paw Patrol pals. Uh, now he wants to work with me, baby. He wants to work with me. Isn't that, mm, isn't that interesting that he wants to work with me, Phaedra Parks, attorney at law? Okay. You're never going to Tom Girardi me, honey. Never. Not a day in your life because I am not like that. I am faithful, true and true. Oh, and then Peter's like, oh, what? Why did you have to take it there? That was like so rude just to bring up The Bachelor. It's a perfectly good show. OK, and once they got rid of Chris Hansen or whatever his name is, uh, you know, there was some controversy around that. And I, I don't know how I feel, but I think, you know, that I don't know who the host is right now, but it's a, it's it's a good show. It was a good starting point for me. How could you say that? How could you say that? Peter's like, oh, I'm sorry, little Peter in the Paw Patrol, but you're like, oh, I'm going to be in this room over here. So you do want to work with me. Yeah, because you have these little meetings. You take a meeting here, take a meeting there, take a meeting everywhere because you think like you're the boss. But guess what? You're not. 
And Peter's like, oh, okay, there's nothing wrong. And I gave up traitors for me to have private conversations. There's nothing wrong when I literally did. I was like, um, only Peter pals allowed. Okay. Yeah. And no girls. Okay. Except Trishel. Yeah. Did I put this sign up? I sure as hell did. Okay. But that there's not a rule book that says I can't have a clubhouse for my crew. You're just jealous of my crew. We call ourselves the click and you are the hater for not liking our click. And we're like, Peter, Peter, traitors. And Trishel's like, exactly. If we want to have a clubhouse, if we want to have secret meetings, if we want to be the Illuminati, we can. Okay. I also hold this sign. Only Peter pals allowed. Are you a Peter pal? That's your fault because you're a traitor. So they are just going after each other. <laughs> I love that. This is not The Bachelor. Okay, Peter? So I do not have to kiss your ass. Oh, and I don't have to answer to you. And you come to me saying, convince me that you're not a traitor. Well, why don't you convince me that you're not a traitor? Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. And Sandra's like, holy shit. Peter, that's embarrassing. She's just like, wipe the floor with you. Oh, God, Peter. And John's, I expect more. I said I would listen to you, but like, you didn't convince me. I'm still thinking of the mac and cheese from dinners. All right. Ooh, Phaedra, way to go, girls. Ooh, Queen says queen all around. Sandra is impressed, but not with the guys. And again, Peter's like, oh, that makes me so angry. I, ugh. wow, I've never been read before. Um, I, I don't want you to be the traitor, Phaedra. Again, I just think you are. Okay, and I did like you before you brought this stuff about The Bachelor, which was really mean, okay? Because, like, we don't talk like that on The Bachelor. We don't we don't drag each other. I mean, some of the women do, and, and I guess some of the guys fight sometimes. But, like, we have sex in windmills. We don't do that, Phaedra. And Peter is very upset. Very upset. Oof. And Phaedra calls him a selfish player. And he goes, listen, you can critique my gameplay all you want. You've hurt my feelings. You've broke my heart. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. But do not do not call me a selfish a selfish player. I am a selfless player. Okay. I I carry the Paw Patrol, Peter Paw Patrols on my back. All right. I am the I'm the daddy of the Peter Pals. So I am not selfish. Every day I come in here and I put on my Peter Pal traders, faithful pants, knowing that I'm going to be a target and that people might go for me. And I do this to save all these people. Then CT's like, okay, okay, let's uh, let's calm down a little bit. I gotta, okay. A, I'm still looking for a little bit of uh, deodorant. Anybody? Okay, never mind. All right, here's the deal. I'm gonna write down. I'm gonna make a little. Uh, I'm gonna make a triangle. Here's a triangle. Okay, uh, Phaedra, you're up here. A, baby. And then uh, you know, Sandra, you're over here. Trishel's over here. Here's what. Here's what happened. Phaedra, up here. You know, you Sandra. You guys connect. Okay, then Trishel down here. Put an X there because you guys wanted her to go home. It looks a little I'll, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I know it's been fun, but I gotta be I gotta be honest, Phaedra. It looked a little sus. Okay, I'm just I just you know, I don't I don't want to do this. I don't I I don't really want to do this. Okay, I got a car to get on. I this is you know, I got some pomade in my hair. It's, it might be spit. Anyways, I just want to tell you that. I think you targeted uh, Trisha. Is it a traitorous uh, activity that you you guys did when you did? You, know, you could have went boom, 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 pow. You know, let me hear you say boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say way oh, way oh. But you went a oh, boom, boom, boom. Motherfucker say way oh, way oh. Girl, your booty is so round. You went down, and we. I thought we. I don't know. Maybe you correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought we did a side to side. I thought we did a side to side. And Phaedra's face is just like, oh my god. CT has turned on me. CT. Well, I'm just saying, you know, there was a, there was a, there was a box here. There was a box here. There was a box there. And then there was a box way down there. And you guys went for the one way down there. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? You know, it's a little sus. And Fader's like, I'm sorry, what? And Trishel's like, yeah, you went 
downtown Julie Brown. You went all the way downstairs and you could just went across the hall and that looks hella sus. We agreed that we were boom, boom. And you went boom, boom, bow. You went down. So you didn't want me to get a shield, which proves you're a traitor because you want me out because I'm the smartest, best dressed person in this game. And you're jealous of me. <laughs> All these other ones around me. Can I finish? Can I finish? And Phaedra tries to answer like, Trisha, baby girl, Trisha, baby, baby child, honey child. No. Can I finish? Can I finish? Thank you. Okay. I know what you're doing. You're trying to get rid of me. You don't want any of this. You don't want me here. You're worried I have more cute sweaters and headbands. Kevin's not here. Bergie's not here. Those are my people because you murdered them. And you didn't want me to get the shield because you wanted to murder me. And Fader's like, yeah, I'm, oh, God. Oh, Trishelle had nothing to do with targeting you. And it had everything to do with targeting her because uh, Phaedra was so happy. She was like, oh, I can get rid of her. She's just like, blah, blah, blah. So then Trishelle's like, okay, maybe you didn't see CT make this. This is you. Th wait, no, this is Sandra. No, this is just either way. I'm down here. Why would you go to the bottom? You don't go to the bottom. You don't start at the finale. I was the finale. Case closed. Trishelle's so mad. You knew, you knew I wanted the shield. I always want the shield. I live for the shield. I am the shield. And Fader's like, oh, Trishelle, oh, my God. I should have killed you, but you had that shield. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> and then here goes, I love, I love Sandra. Okay, this is my whole issue comes down to this, okay, Peter. You want to save poverty. And you knew she was a traitor. So it's like, dude, I ain't going to trust you a day in my life because you just... Why are you roll for traitors? Okay. This also, this is the best Sandra's look. I mean, Sandra always looks good, but this look at the round table, I was like, yes, Sandra. It just set up alarm bells for me. I, I don't have time for this, Peter. Okay. It's, it's either, even if you're not a traitor, it's you're annoying. Okay. You're just an annoying person. Okay. Thank you so much. Can we, Alan, can we vote? Can we vote? I got to get this blouse off. It's really scratchy. And then, Sheree's like, excuse me, I would like to say exactly what she just said, all right? Um, it was hella sus that you wanted to save Parvati knowing she's a traitor. What's up with that? Also, what is this game again? Is this, okay, traitor, traitors. Not like T-R-A-D-E-R-S, like we're trading space. No, okay, I'm just going to write that down, okay? I'm going to write Sheree. Okay, comma, you are on the traitors. Okay, and it's okay. Yep, and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take that piece of paper that CT, and I'm gonna carry this with me to remind me, so I don't have to ask you guys next time. So case closed. Yeah, Sheree is on the trip. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hold, on, hold on. Wait. I forgot. Um. What? Did, so sorry. Sheree. Okay. See, it already came in handy. You are on the traitors. Okay. Yep. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Good. So yeah, Peter, why don't you, uh, oh, sh do you think it is? It could, is it Trader Joe's? Cause I, uh, is this the, tr cause we did have some Trader Joe's products in the pantry. No, it's still the traitor, traitor. Okay. okay. Not, not Trader Joe's, not Trader Joe's. Sheree, you're on the traders, not Trader Joe's. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, Peter, you suck. And yeah, there you go. So you're just trying to get information off people. That's what you're trying to do. You just want all the information. Well, guess what? I'm not going to tell you anything about my life. All right. I, you're never going to get invited to Chateau Charest. You're never going to get any Shein by Charest clothing. You're not going to get it. And Pierre's like, no, 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 no. Okay, you guys, seriously, this is ridiculous. Okay. I, the goal of this game is to get to with someone to the end, maybe a traitor, so that you can get rid of them, right? No, someone you trust. The goal is to be at the end and win money. Sheree's like, okay, Sheree, you are, I'm on the traitors, Peter. I'm not an idiot. Thank you. So then Sheree, uh, the Phaedra's like, 
oh, Peter, I think you're a traitor. I think you're a traitor. Peter's like, really? You think I, with all these, you think I got rid of all these people that I'm working with? This is what, what and Trishel jumps in. And she's like, this is the least traitory thing that could ever traitor. No, <coughs> excuse me, real traitor would do any of these things. This is crazy. The mental gymnastics. And the whole time MJ's just like, huh. huh. She looks at Kate and Kate's like, She's like, mm, Kate looks weird. I don't know if I can trust Kate. <laughs> Lil John and the UK boys, you know, Peter's like, you seriously think I'm a traitor? And Lil John and the UK boys like, <sighs> and they both say, we we have evidence. Hello, we have evidence that I don't know. Did you not, Sheree, can you get that thing out of your bra? Sure, 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 sure. Did you not see CT drew the evidence? This proves you're, a traitor. I mean, and you're, you're going after all my friends. So the two people that voted for you, Phaedra, are Kevin and Bergie, right? It, either way, it, that's evidence. And Phaedra's like, oh, no, baby, I run a courtroom. That is not, that's not evidence. So this round table was just... It was very entertaining because Peter's just like exhausted, like, oh my God, I am not the traitor. Trishel, in a world, who who would do this? If he's the traitor, who would vote like that? And Sheree's like, I, I think he would. I think he would. I think he would. She look at Sheree. She's like, yeah. Now, MJ, you know, they left us on a cliffhanger, but MJ voted out Phaedra. There's no doubt in my mind that MJ, from the look, and from her saying, no, I'm not Bravo strong. And from just how much suspicion is around Phaedra, there's no way that MJ voted out Peter. There's just no way. I truly believe that she's going to vote out Phaedra because MJ's like, uh -huh, I'm here to win the money. Okay. I, I don't care. And Peter's like, please. If we don't get rid of Phaedra, the traitors will win this game. And I think that um, with everything else going on is going to ultimately lead um, MJ, who ends up being the tie-breaking vote. So they go around the table and Phaedra's like, oh, Peter, baby, it's you. You're just, you're such a problem. And Peter's like, oh, Phaedra, I'm voting for Phaedra. John votes for Phaedra. Trishel votes for Phaedra. CT, it was heartbreaking. I think you can hear me being like, no. Oh, you know, MJ, she just, she's so stressed. And the way she's looking, it's, she's definitely going to vote Phaedra, which obviously she has. I mean, yeah, um, for her faithful game. But you do? You think she voted out? I hope so, because I do want Phaedra to stay in the game. But something, when I read MJ's face, Linda, I, feel like I saw her having to like work it out in her own brain that like, I'm going to have to vote out Phaedra. I'm going to have to, but it was heartbreaking to see. Let's see if, okay. So they're all voting two votes for Phaedra, two votes for Peter, Trisha. Phaedra. She was like, um, Phaedra, Avi, Avi, for all the reasons I stated over and over again. Also, stop cock blocking me from the shield. Thank you. I need it more than any of you. You all don't need it. I need it. CT. Oh, this part was so hard for me. <gasps> you can hear me. I go, don't do it, CT. Don't do it. And Phaedra's like, oh, I have been hanging out with this man all season for him to vote me out. Oh, I did the side sweat bangs like he liked. Oh. Oh. He's like, yeah, so, you know, there's a lot of information that did come up. And it's like, go hell of sus. And I, I don't know. I just got my card again. And I'm sorry. It's like, you know, I love you, Fader. You're a nice person. But it's like, yeah, I just, I kind of feel like, you know, you're doing some traitor stuff. So you're prob probably going to be a traitor. And I'm like, no. Um, and then Sheree's like, um, doubtful. I voted for Peter. Um, because I didn't have a lot of time. So I just put you down, Peter. I'm sorry. I don't really know what happens, but good luck. Peter's like, what? What? Why? What? Sherry's like, I just, I don't believe 
all the evidence you gave me. I just, I don't really believe in evidence. It's not really my thing. So, yeah. I think you're a traitor. And then Kate's like, um, obviously, I am a traitor, so I'm going to vote for Peter. And Peter's like, <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Uh, he's like, I, I can't trust you. And then I'm like yelling, it's coming down to MJ, it's coming down to MJ. So we have a 4-4 four, four vote. It's a tie, you guys. Will Phaedra go or will Peter go? Put it in the chat. What you think, who you think MJ is going to vote for. I think she's going to vote Phaedra out. Just the look on her face. She looked so pained, and I feel like she wouldn't be this pained to vote Peter out. The only explanation would be she's voting against her better judgment. But she just said she wasn't going to do that. All right, so let's see what you guys have to say in the chat, who you think um, MJ voted for. And I'm like, no, MJ, I know you have to do it for your own game, but uh, it's just breaking my heart. I don't want her to do it. I understand that she has to, but oh, so sad, so sad. Okay, why can't I get this thing? No, I don't want it like that. Oh, well, let's do it like this. Okay, let's see uh, what you guys are saying. All right, Kim says Peter. Joseph says Phaedra. Um, I like the visual charts, graphs, pictograms, so CT converted me. <laughs> I'm almost positive, uh, our dog says, MJ voted Phaedra. But that wasn't a smart move. It's good to keep known traders until the end. That way they don't recruit and you can banish them at the end. That is a wonderful point. I think that's part of the point that um, Peter was making too, is you want to be at the end with a trader that you know is a trader, so you're just like, bye, and you banish them at the end. Cami says, Peter. Uh, Joseph says fans want Peter because they don't want Phaedra out. Exactly, Joseph. I'm glad you understand our reasoning. <coughs> Chickenhead says Peter. Monica says I hope you're right. HC says Peter. Um, DGF says MJ is a pick Misha. She voted for Phaedra because her torch wasn't lit. Oh, <gasps> you think she's still? But it wasn't Phaedra. She was more upset that Sandra. Oh, interesting, DGF. Um, Peter, because of entertainment. I mean, I hope so. I hope the producers got in her head. <laughs> I know that's like so against, but it's like, we want good TV, you know, Peter, Peter. Cause now it can be Trishel and CT versus Phaedra and the Brop. So really, if they get rid of Peter, CT just kind of slides into that role over there. Yeah, but I mean, the numbers are still on the Bravo, the Bravo gals and Sandra's side. But Sandra is very loyal to CT, so maybe he could sway her. Phaedra is good TV. So a lot of you are saying Peter. Are you saying what you hope or what you think? Because I hope it's Peter, but I think it's Phaedra. Rod says Phaedra. Uh, Tisha says, I don't want her to go, but I think Phaedra. Same with me, Tisha. Same with me. Um, Sandra, she was hurt by Sandra. Yeah, she was. Um, Bravo girls haven't done anything. Ugh, Joseph, bite your tongue. Bite your tongue. Yes, the prize pot is $129,750. Thank you. Um, that is what they're up to right now. We got two episodes left and then an episode for the reunion. And Astro Boy says, I hope it's Phaedra that they vote Phaedra out. So, I mean, if Phaedra's gone, then you just have Kate left. Now, there is suspicion on Sandra, unfortunately, that she could be a traitor. So, we might see... I don't want to put into the universe, but a Sandra banishment. But if Phaedra goes, I'm very interested to see who Kate will murder. Um, you gotta, I mean, I would say you'd got, you have to get rid of Peter or Trishel at this point. Um, because there's so far, there's no suspicion on um, Kate, except for MJ. MJ might be the person who susses out. Kate. <sighs> um, DGF says MJ's feelings were really hurt, but no one acknowledged her. Trishel was sucking all the oxygen out of the forest. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, Joseph says Kate didn't like Phaedra murdering Kevin. It would be interesting to see who Kate murders. I thought Kate didn't mind murdering um, uh, Kevin, right? Because he was annoying, she said. Yeah, I think if I wasn't rooting so much for Phaedra and Kate and the traitors, I mean, I would be fine um, with Peter because, I mean, they're, 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 they're doing the damn thing. Trishel has that shield still, or is it it's one murder, I believe. Yep. 
Kate thought Kevin was annoying. Yeah, Kate was like, get rid of him. Who cares? I'm afraid John would be killed. Ugh. I don't think John's ever going to be. They're going to save John until the end, probably, mm, at this point. Well, after the speech, maybe they'll wait. But if Phaedra lives and they kill John, it'll be interesting to see who they pick. Oh, maybe Phaedra will live and she'll kill CT. Dun, dun, dun. Chicken Head, thank you so much for the super chat. Time for a windmill. Speedy Pete to go, Chicken Head says. Our dog says Kate will blow the game if she tries to recruit instead of murder either Peter or Trisha. Yeah, you just, you gotta, you gotta get rid of them at this point. It's just too much. Kate says, imagine if we'd voted for Trisha. I bet you Kate kills Trisha. <laughs> Sheree's gonna win this game, you guys. I got some intel allegedly, okay, that said that um, Sheree is going to win the whole thing. And at the end, she's going to be like, what is this game called again? So Sheree for the win. Allegedly. Allegedly, you guys. Allegedly. So there you go. There is the recap for The Straiters Season 2 U.S. Episode 9. Steven, thank you for the super chat. Says, just tuning in. I'm so happy you finally got your dramatic. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Lazy Buddhist and Yavane, thank you so much for my cloaks. I have two cloaks now. And I feel so powerful and so wonderful. You guys are amazing. Um, Yavane says, MJ votes Peter out. Joseph says, Phaedra is a smart trader. She said on the after show, she murdered Kevin because Peter has a shield. Oof. She thought, yes, 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 yes. Okay. You guys have been so fun, so wonderful. I'll be back very soon with more traitorous content and obviously all the other pop culture and Bravo and reality TV shows that I cover. Make sure to smash that like on your way out. Comment in the comment section after the video post so I can hear from all of you. Hey, shout out to all my super chatters. Thank you guys so much for the love. And until next time, enjoy yourself. As I always say, because it's later than you think. Good night. Mm -hmm.